Well, hello there, everybody. Welcome on into the stream. How you doing? We are on East server, US server East in the Mal or so the uh, the Maldives, and uh, we are going to get started here with the new Aerosoft Twin Otter that was just released today. I'm super excited for this. One of my favorite turbo props of all time, uh, and we have it here in the sim with all sorts of different versions. But the one we're going to be checking out tonight is definitely going to be well, kind of all of them. Oh, why is that not a hundred percent? What? Why is there a black bar at the bottom? Oh, you know why? Are you not full screen, buddy? You weren't full screen. That was why. <laughs> Very cool airplane. Andy Houston, what's going on, man? Little back book pro in the house. What's up, Viper? Hello to you. Uh, we're not making any maple surf tonight. We're flying airplanes. Jeremy, what's going on? Awesome to see in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Absolutely, man. This is the full float version, too, where we're going to be flying in the beginning. If you guys want to join along, US Server East, we are in the Maldives. And if you want to know what scenery I'm using, it is linked in the disc Discord. So if somebody wants to grab that link and s share it here, they sure certainly can. Uh, Joke 1L. And when I say that, I mean Alex. <laughs> He's the one who can do it. Um, so yeah, pretty cool airplane. Twin turbo pop prop airplane. Stole shape, short takeoff and landing. All that fun stuff, man. All right, so let's have a look at her. We're off the coast of uh, some of the Maldives over there. And uh, this freeware scenery pack we're using today. But look at the detail. Look at the modeling of this airplane. I mean, you want to talk about amazing. Look at this. Look at the windows, all dirty and everything there. Look at the engine. Look at this. I have been waiting so long for this airplane, guys. So, so long. You have no clue how excited I am about this one. Look at that. 
I mean, just look at it. Just look at it. She's gorgeous. Got your buckets I'll be joining. All right. So I'll tell you where we're located here shortly. We'll look on the map and I'll t give you an idea of the closest. Look at this. Look at the attention to detail here. Look at that. And if I hit the C button here, we can see the movement right there. In the rudder. I mean, you want to talk about amazing, man. <laughs> that is so good. Look at that PBR. Man, they have got to be proud of this airplane. Look at the rivets, individual rivets right there. Like they have to be super proud of this thing, man. Look at that. Look at the dihedral on those wings. The dimples. It just, it looks like a used airplane. Absolutely gorgeous, man. I don't know if this is on the marketplace or not. I got this off the Aero store or the Aero, Aerosoft store. Sorry, I just came out of a long recording session with the guys, so my uh, words are a little tripped up. That's all that is. All right, so enough of that. Have a look inside. Look at this. And we're going to get ourselves a uh, setup here for the... Uh, a little bit more to the left, I think. What are you doing? Are you going to let me do that? No, don't want to move. What's, what's your problem here? Oh. Is it not in the right... Weird. It's not letting me move left and right like it normally does. That goes up and... Oh, it's the left alt. That's why. Duh. Duh. All right. That's cool there. That's actually a pretty good view right there. Save that one. And then we'll move over here to the middle. Because this is what we're going to be using a lot is the overhead panel stuff. Here. Like this. And control alt to that. Control alt 2 on that guy. And then we can do down and forward. So now we have alts one, two, and three. That's good. It's some, we have some passenger views too we can do because look at back there. Oh, you better believe it. You better believe it. And we have something down there too. Take off trim. Oh, that's the trims. I see. Wow. Bad company, 1455. Thank you for the 22 months. Good evening to you. How you doing? Absolutely amazing stuff here. Um, so there's that panel. And we can go even further down. We can just look down for four, I think. We got one, two, three, and four. There we go. Look, that's a little better there. And then, is there anything else further in two that we need to see further back? Oh, yeah. Up there. Lighting. Duh. Oh, actually, you know what? We'll do three as that one. Maybe. Eh, it don't matter, but for a five. We'll do five as that one. That works for me. So, down. Up. There we go. So we have four and then five. There we go. I mean, that's pretty good there. And then we do six, seven, and eight back there. Let's do that now. Setting up all our views. You know how we do. In the cabin we go. Have a right side view. I'll do a left side view actually first. This one here. Mm -hmm. There we go. That's a pretty good one there. For six. Then we can go seven. That's such a pain in the butt to set these up. 
Jeez, man. Go up this way. A seven here. This looks pretty good. And then we'll do eight in the front, looking at the uh, the engine up here. There we go. So we got our RV is one, two, three, four, five. We got six, seven, and eight. I like it. Fly Cabo, thank you for the 23 months. Good to see you. Evening, evening. I see a DHC three otters every day taking off in a lake near your house. Nice. There it is, everybody. Very cool. All right. So let me show you here on the navigation map. The VFR map where we're located here, uh, which shows these actual VREI is where I'm located right now. VREI. There you go. That's what we're rolling with. And then I think the outside view, I think we just have the, the standard these. Yep. We have these. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Couple exterior views here to choose from. That one's kind of broken looking. Some broken ones, but there's some good looking ones as well, but yeah, well. Oh, there's that view too. That's all broken. That's pretty good. All right. I, th I think she's good now. I do. I do. Okay. Let's do this thing, shall we? Let's go master battery on. That's all good. External battery. That guy's on. Uh, let's go ahead and go up here and we'll go anti collision. Position lights can come on. Everything up here looks good. Lighting on there is fine. Just whatever we want it to be. Uh, generators are off. That's good. Uh, we can test the lights if we wanted to. And I'm not worried about that. No messing around with that stuff today. Who cares? Strobe lights can come on. We're going to need those uh, before too long. Uh, Seatbelt signs. That's fine. No smoking. Uh, bleed airs are good there for now. Back down here. Actually, we have two right here. We're going to kind of need this guy to when we start the engines for all this stuff here. Um, three. To make sure these, we can test them. They work. Okay. Boosters come on. That's good there. We can test the fire. Works fine. All right, so we're ready to start the first engine. So we're going to start engine number two. So we go to the right. We look down here. We're looking for 12% before we introduce that uh, fuel. There it was right there. That was perfectly fine where it was there. So bring that fuel on. She fires up just like that. Pull the chocks. <laughs> There we go. It's starting to already spin around on us a little bit. So we can feather this prop so it doesn't move around too much. There we go. Then we go to the left side. Down here watching GG RPM. At 12%. Right there's good. Bring the fuel in. Make sure this thing's feathered as well. Right side's completely feathered out. Like it doesn't even want to even do anything. That's weird. Let's go ahead and put these in the, the middle. There we go. There we go. Much better. So those are good. So you might be wondering, is that, is that a little loud for you? We can turn this down. Can you hear me okay? Make sure it's okay. I think it might be a little too loud. Yeah, skosh loud. I don't know why your sounds are that loud, but they are. Um, let's go to sound. We'll just turn the uh, the old master down a little bit here. This airplane. There we go. That'll be much better. There we go. Beautiful sound, though. Um, so with these airplanes, we have our rudder, you know, water rudder. Um, but you really taxi these with the, the different... 
power input here. So if we want to turn to the right, we would add that left engine forward. And you can see how she turns to the right like that. That's how they actually do it. And then you can use your reversers as well. Sounds pretty darn good if you ask me. We need to get those gens on board, don't we? Yeah, we do. So we don't kill everything here. That would probably be a good idea. Let's go ahead and go to five. Gens are going on position. Let's clean up everything here. That's all good. Taxi light. That's fine. Everybody's good up there. You guys some boots don't care about. It. Oh, there's a plane. Somebody found us. All right. Nice. That's good. Landing lights can come on. We're all good there. Let's see what that enunciator says. Pneumatic low pressure. Oh, you know why? We probably don't have the bleed air on. Right? Bleed air. The bleed's got to come on. Is that going to help us out? Not really. Something props. Oh, reset props. Not sure what that means. Uh, you're in norm. You're good. I don't think our boosters need to be on anymore. Boost pumps. Nope, you need them on. Okay, cool. Just kidding. They stay on the whole time. Let's see here. Not everything works. That's all good. Oh, bus time's good. Not normal. Uh, let's get in there. Pneumatic. I just don't know what would be weird about that. Ooh, fans can be on. Manual auto. Yeah, it's all temperature control stuff there. I, I wouldn't imagine that to be a problem other than the props just not being fully forward. Let's go and go fully forward and see if those. I might clear those. Let's see. Gen's good. Battery, right, Gen's good. We have this all working. Not sure what jet, what uh, reset props and pneumatic low pressure means. Other than maybe it goes away when we add a little bit of power here. Let's see. It does go away. Okay, so I know we have to set our GG RPM to 70. Maybe that's what we need to do here. Pull you back a little bit. No, not you. Is it you I need to move? Nope, not you. Boy, kind of a pain in the butt, isn't it? To move all this stuff at the same time. It's these for sure. I pull you back. Oh, you go down further? They go forward even more. Our GG is climbing. That's not real good. I pull back, you just go down, right? Yeah. I'm not really sure how that works. How to set that. If you guys are just joining, we are outside of VREI. Let's give it a shot, though. Let's go flying this thing. Let's set our flaps here. Make sure those are good. Okay, that was good. 10 degree of flap. That's fine with me. Uh, what about our trim here? This guy, the trim indicator at. I'm not really sure on this airplane, honestly. Here's the pressure down there, which I guess is fine. Here you go, pitot static, all that. Pilot static, norm. Okay, so that doesn't change. Okay, we're just learning the airplane. We just we just got it today, so. Mid range test for all those. I think we're good. I think we are good. We're gonna take off. I don't know what the wind's doing, but it looks like it's rolling towards us, so let's give it a shot. I don't know how if we have to keep this all the way back on takeoff or what. We're gonna go half on this guy, so bring it on up. Is it fine for you guys? I can turn it down a little bit more on your end. There we go. Turn it. 
down there. Wow. I don't know why that's so loud. I apologize for that. Okay, turn to the right. Bring our flaps in as well. Yep, she's good. Look at that thing. Pull our power back a little bit here. Get in the green zone. There we go. Probably should have been using track hour for this, but that's okay. We're in the Maldives, everybody. If you're wondering what's going on here. So yeah, Enunciator is clear. We're it's right as rain, dude. Hands off the controls. Look how smooth that is. That's a solid airplane, man. That is a solid. A couple uh, trim units down. There we go. She's doing good. Okay, so we're gonna do our first landing here on this thing. Not sure what to expect. I'm trying to feel out what the wind's doing too. That's been another thing. We have a flapping indicator in front of us. We'll see. I'll be getting that art first though. It's very smooth flying, man. Look at that. power here. Yeah, track IR would be real helpful in this plane, I must say. That was weird. If I have that clicked in, you can't, if you're clicking the mouse, you can't move the control column. Uh, it's very strange, but okay. We're on the U.S. server east. We'll power back a little bit more here. We're going to trim it back. That's where we want to land is right here. Okay. Need to be in that white arc so we can put some flaps in here. There she is. It's bleeding speed off now. Coming in. Get used to this thing. Laps. laps are in. Laps. Talking about too low flaps. Metabombs. Metabombs. Yeah, we're gonna be landing. Let's see how this goes. First landing in the Twin Otter. Now these things are all about stall, short takeoff and landing, and also they're really, really good at stopping on a dime. So we'll see how this goes. A full reverse when we touch down. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Reverse is out. Oh, man. Just like the real deal. Stops on a dime, dude. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. What are they in? I don't know what airplane you guys are in. Is it not? Oh, you know what? Is it not model matching? Which 
we had some seaplane bases to check out. Bring our flaps back in. Oh yeah, I can't in this view, remember? They hit C. That's weird. Are you not coming up? What's the problem here? Oh, I can always do that, I forgot. Oh yeah, we're at zero. We're good. It's bringing them in. Reddington, what's going on? Our night is going well. Okay, so that was cool. Still not sure what the... It has good reverser sounds. It's just they're a little delayed when they kick in, you know what I mean? Like that? That's That shouldn't be doing that. They probably need to work on that a little bit. Oh, man, this is cool, though. right over here and drop everybody off. Whoa, that is, it was interesting. So if we feather these, they should not continue forward, right? sure how that'll work there we go much better it doesn't seem to want to stop let's see We were putting it through the paces here. Try to put it on the beach so we can back it out when we want to. Let's see how this goes. Using reverse whenever we can here. There we go. We beached it. Look at that. Oh man, that's beautiful looking. Look at that. Oh, there's another one over there. Somebody's got another one. Who's who's that in the uh, in the other twin otter? Oh, that looks so cool, man. I love it. This screenshot here. Yeah, well, we're good now. So we should be able to just back this thing on out. Let's see how this goes. Oh yeah, look at that. Back into the water we go. All right, let's turn to the left here. Bringing this one up. There we go. Look at that. These things maneuver pretty darn good, I gotta say. I'm pretty pretty impressed with it. There we go. Get this thing back out in the water a little bit more. Alright, nice. I mean oh, we can use this thing to do that. I always forget to do that. Uh we make sure these guys are fully forward now. No, not you. There we go. It's not too bad. We're just sitting here taxiing. Looking good. Ooh, somebody over there. Landing, it looks like. Yep, another seaplane. Look at that. Nice. 
Oh, that's so cool. Okay, we're good there. Okay, here we go again. Let's go ahead and get the flaps in the 10 here. There they are. Nice. We'll bring these things up. Let them hang right there. Using all that left rudder right here. Back about, about right there we're going to try. Let's just go full, full, full back here. See if it doesn't bounce as much as last time. Yeah, that's a lot better. There's a step right there. Let it come on out. Oop, keep it right there. Oh, we're just like we're in the air. Big Bear 50, thank you so much for the gifted subscriptions. Very, very kind of you. Thank you so much. Nice. Look at that one. <laughs> Gotta pull our power back here. Let's go explore the Maldives a little bit here. Maldives. Get it right. Bring our flaps back up. That's good. Hit down there scraping. Nice. Dude, this plane. That's a 10 out of 10 for me, man. Amazing. We're in the Maldives right now. Actually, it is still beta sounds we hear. Aerosoft will release much better sounds in the first patch, which should come soon. Okay, good. Good to hear that. Because we definitely are going to need some. Um, Aviator 777, I I'm trying to figure out what I need to use to get my uh, the GG at 70 when we're taxiing. It seems to be much lower than that, so I don't know what I'm doing wrong there. But we're just messing around and learning the plane. Yeah, there's no transition from idle to full throttle. We noticed that. It, it just cuts out completely. Pull our power back a little bit more here. Well, actually, we can pull our props, prop leaders back a little bit. I mean, this airplane flies so beautifully. Yeah, you have your condition levers. When I mean, you have these over here, your fuel. They're fully forward. They're good. I mean, this thing trims out so nice. Look at that. Like, hands off. It, it, is, it flies so damn good. These are very underdeveloped, uh, underdeveloped islands over here. Maverick Tex, what's up? Reduce those slightly when you tax. You should bring EGI. Gotcha. Thank you, Maverick. I will try that. So just pull them back until we're at uh, a GG of 70. That, that makes a lot more sense. Our GG game. Okay, so we're just cruising here at about 1,300 feet. Actually, I haven't even hit my altimeter. What are we at? 299 or 0. Yep, we're just 1,300 feet. We're at about there. Range on out. We see different airports in the area. I know there's more up here to the north, so we departed out of VREI. We're just flying north here with the uh, on the Mal the uh, the Maldives. You can see where the wind's coming in from the left there. Keeping that in mind. Scott Cole, two months. I'd rather have twin beavers, but otters are cute. Yep. <laughs> Dude, this plane is something else. Look at this thing. This is crazy good.
There's another one back there. But I mean, this thing is unbelievable. Flies so good. That was the biggest thing, you know. Want to see how well it flies, and it flies real nice. It's got. We're on right now. We're in the uh, the Maldives. I do have that scenery pack that's on flightsim.to. We're just flying around, putting around. You're more than welcome to join us. Anybody on U.S. Server East. I mean, look at that. I haven't even touched the trim, and this thing is just maintaining 1,300 feet. Have I ever flown in actual life before? Yes. ICM, what's going on? How you doing? Look at that. 1,200 there, but if I just barely pull back, I mean, that's the movement, and then let go. This thing is super stable. Real nice, man. Oh, we can land up here in this little bay that we're coming up on this island up here. This looks pretty cool. So if the wind's out of the west, we're going to curve around and then come to the, in, on the left there into the bay. And that's what we're going to try to do. So props fully forward. That's good. Start pulling power back a little bit. To get in a good position here. We're going to trim it on back. Make it feel good. Yeah, this really is a fantastic airplane, man. Very impressed with it. And it stole, man, even on the water. And we're, I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about here. We're going to come in pretty good, and we're going to stop this thing in a heartbeat. I hear another one. I hear the other airplane. Where's he at? He's nearby. Pull that power. Bring that nose up. We're going to dump all our flaps in here. Once we get to that arc, about right there is good. 20 degrees of flap. There we go. Looking good. Put more power here. There's the other airplane. There. I just heard one. All right. All the flaps are in. And now we just sink this sucker straight on into this little spot here and stop immediately. About 80 knots, looking good there. When I was in uh, St. Thomas, I was watching these airplanes operating out of here. It was awesome. About right here, looking good. Versers. And that's it. Look at how fast we stopped. <laughs> Pretty darn cool, man. comes the other one we're gonna watch him oh he just landed nice we're gonna go ahead and put it on the beach over here on the left let's go full feather on these guys There 
are. It's like that. <laughs> He's right there. Pretty cool. Operator Breads, thank you for the subscription. Welcome to the stream, family. How you doing? Yeah, that approach is awesome. I agree, Wookiees. Good stuff. Good stuffs. Okay, so now all we have to do. That was weird. Oh, I hate that that camera view. That screws it up so much, and then he has to reload everything in. Um, go you to there, you to there. Hit these suckers into reverse now. Back it on out. And then we can just go use the right differential power here to steer it that way. There we go. A little bit more. There we go. A little bit more this way. Use a, you have to use a lot of power. A lot more than you think you would. Certainly is the case. All right. Flaps set to 10. Good on that. Bring this guy back as far as that goes. Ready to go with this guy here. You go up. You go up. We are cleared for takeoff. So let's go ahead and do it. Back on this guy here. And here we go. Step. There we go. Here's 80 knots. I'm back. Here we go. There we go. Shabby, I'm gonna power back here. All right, back to the north we go. ship out there. Nice. Okay. Then we continue this way for more of these islands. Maybe not. We're off to our right more. Yep. Okay. There we go. Okay. Our productions four months. I appreciate that big time. Have you picked this one up yet, Scott? Is this one in your wheelhouse at all? I mean, honestly, if uh, if you want to wait for the patch to come out and better sounds, you can always do that. We're definitely be flying this thing. Yeah, look at that. We got a cargo ship down there. Tanker. Only that. Flying real life too much, but yeah, I have it downloaded. Nice. I've been waiting for a while for this thing, man. I was pretty excited about it. Let's test the uh, autopilot system out on it. Haven't tried that yet, so set our altitude to let's go. Let's go to 2,000 feet. There we go. We'll be we do a vertical speed. We can do a vertical speed in this thing. I think you just hold an altitude. So let's come on down to thousand here. There's trim up, trim down. Okay, I see. Come back on down to two thousand feet. Trim it a little bit better there.
2,000 right there. Let's try altitude. Then we're going to set it to heading mode. So let's see here. Put you away. Heading bug. Put you over here. Not right there. So heading and engage that autopilot. See how she does here. Set altitude to 2,000. Get a trim. It's trimming up and down, so let's see what she does. Will it actually trim down? That's the question. I think it will. Let me do that in this airplane. I think he's just got a basic one in there. There's somebody down there flying. Nice. More little islands here in the Maldives. Okay, turn to the right. One, two, zero. Okay, 2,500. Will you hold 2,500 for me? Let's see if that does it. Altitude. Bam. That should hold 2,500 now. Looks like it will. Now we can enjoy the views. I got a big airplane. Not sure what airplane they're flying. Generics. There are helicopters for Microsoft Flight Simulator. There's some great freeware ones out there. Man, look at that island down there. That's cool. Somebody way down there. That might be the other otter. So cool, man. islands down that way. We can follow these all the way. And there's a bunch off to the left too. There really is. Beautiful. It's beautiful. You could put a mansion on the island if you wanted to. An air convoy, yes. Have you ever sky dive in a plane before, Kelly Brandon? No. Have no interest in jumping out of an airplane, man. Not for me. Never had the urge to want to do that. There's a yaw damper on here, too. I wonder if we turn the yaw damper on. That'll help things here in the... Autopilot world. Look at that big old U over there. That's cool. Okay, so now we're coming down this way. Back to VRDA. Yeah, we're pretty much headed back to these islands here. Pretty neat. Skydiving is against a good pilot's nature. <laughs> yup. The Airbus is an F-18. Shouldn't be. I have the F-18 installed. Unless something is going on here with my traffic. Let's see. Just uh, general options. Something. Yeah. Generic's all turned off, man. So I don't know. I don't know what's causing it. Hard to say. But yeah, I have the F-18 is based in the game, the base model. So anybody in the actual F-18 would show up. Uh, 
The Jibs, 1212, thank you for the subscription. Welcome to the stream, family. How you doing? Uh, Care Productions, there's, they're not comparable, man. Um, I've, I've used the honeycomb before. Uh, the honeycomb is a step up from, say, like, you know, SciTech and all that stuff. A huge step up. It's a fantastic yoke, and it's got that short little throw in there. Um, that tiny little, uh, little centerpiece there. You only have so much in and out you have in left and right, which is really nice thing about the honeycomb is it goes 90 degrees both sides. Um, with this, it's a pendular system, so it's just like a bowing yoke or a throw yoke, like you see here. Uh, we're pulling this mechanism back like that, see? And you just, there's nothing else on the market that does that besides even a GoFlight 737 yoke still the in and out, you know? So it's very unique. I can't, uh, I can't say one's better than the other because it doesn't make, they, they can't be compared in my opinion. What are you doing update? Since I know you've been following each time I pop in, but I was offered a job and finally be heading back to Indac starting 5, 425, flying in the CRJ. Nice. Well, very congr uh, congratulations to that. Unless they're using a livery that's not part of the base game, it won't show up right. Yep, Vito's correct. If they're using their own, then I won't see it. If you guys want to show up, you should probably use the default. The f 18s awesome too, man. It's got a great sound to it. All right, so we're flying along here at 2,500 feet. We want to land right there, right? That sound good? Let's go ahead and disengage the autopilot. The auto damper, we're going to turn that sucker off. I'm going to pull my power, my airplane. Down we go. We're going to land right on that sucker too, man. So what we're going to do is we're going to enter a left downwind for the bay, and then we're going to land right off top of those trees right there. That is the plan. Let's see how it goes. Because this airplane is super capable of putting it where you want it to, you know? Pretty darn cool. Turn these guys off. Don't need those on anymore. Look at that. We're about 1,500 feet per minute down and 120 knots. trimming it out where we want it there we go 120 knots is fine for me let's go ahead and push these props fully forward and they are Our speed and our altitude is looking good. About a thousand feet here is good. We're gonna get down to about 800 feet. Start bringing that nose up using our wonderful trim here. Bring that power back in ever so slightly. We're gonna need it. arc and bring in some flap here. These floats are heavy, man. Somebody's laying in there too. All right, flaps are in. We're good. 80 knots. Looking for that. Holding it about right there. Rock this approach. Let's do it. Watch our speed here. I don't want to get too slow. There's the other one down there. Nice. There's the other twin otter. Nice. I'm gonna give him some room. I'm gonna come right over the top of this thing right here. Versus, you're good. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I 
good there. Spin it on around. All right. Okay, bring you back, bring you back. this thing right over here. And reverser right about there. Perfect. Good. Up to here. Put these back. And fuel off. Both sides. Down here, these guys go to the opposition. Listen to those shutdown sounds. Not too shabby. And then uh, we're gonna go up here and turn these off. Oop, we know. Thank you. Off for you. Six. Five for this guy. You go to the off position. Off position. Oh, that's all off. That's fine. I, we just leave them on as they are there. Whoever's flying the uh, the Twin Otter, I want to see you do some approaches in into this bay. We're going to watch you. I think that'd be pretty cool. Look how awesome that looks, man. Look how great that looks on the beach. That looks so cool. I'm in love with this airplane, man. What can I do? What can you say? What can you do? All right. So let's watch the other otter here. There he is. He's taking off. Yeah, this is a beautiful beach here, isn't it? Not bad at all. There goes the otter right there. So be sure to let us know who's uh, flying the otter. I could turn the uh, names on. I'd have to go back in and do that. There you go. I haven't flown the normal version of the plane yet. Nope. Look at that approach. Such a good looking airplane. The thing I've noticed is, man, whenever it, it really drops like a rock with those floats. Have to be ready for that. Those things are pretty heavy. Got to keep that, that stuff in there. There isn't a search and rescue variant of the water. There's not. There's a bunch of variants that came with it. Here they come now. All right. Let's see what you can do. Jayhawks, I believe, is the one flying this. Oh, look at this right here. Looking nice. Oh, it has no sound in multiplayer. That's sad. Oh, damn. <laughs> Straight in there, dude. That was funny. Yeah, that's a cool looking plane, man. Look at this little spot here with the grass. Little slice of heaven here. Look at the rocking on here uh, with the water there. That's cool. Not bad at all. Uh, I don't think I have the H-135 installed. And it has to be certain versions of it, unfortunately. Mr. Big Nasty, take care now. Thanks for hanging out with us. Well, they're taking off again. Okay, they're going to try to redeem themselves, it looks like, with another approach. 
And they have taken off. Oh man, look at the flaps in that sucker. Second, hold on. Okay. Looking good here. If it bleeds that speed off, they'll be in a much better spot. There you go. A lot slower that time. Looking good. Coming on down. beautiful job nice that was good dude real good there's those reversers kicking in not bad all right time to fire this thing up get on out of here Those are on three Boosters come on. Five's good up there. Gens are off for now. We're going to be ready to start engine number two. Let's go ahead and just push these guys all the way forward. Actually, you know what? No, we're going to start these feathered because I want to reverse out. Um, okay. Turning right. Engine first. Kill that. There's 12% right there. I'm going to pull this thing. Oop. Okay, so it only has on and off, it looks like. I can't pull it back slightly. It doesn't seem to be the case. You had a stall when you touched the water. Dude, that was impressive. It looked good. It looked real good. There she is all fired up. Okay. Left engine now. It's 10, 11, and 12. Yeah, you only have one option for that. I think it almost doesn't want to do it completely, you know what I mean? It's weird. We'll stop that from happening. It doesn't seem like it's getting enough RPM on that left side, does it? I don't know what that's about. Get the nuts. We might be too beached here. Hold on, let's see. Let's try bringing these guys all the way forward. There we go, smoothing that out. Reversers. Are they gonna have more power now? We might be too beached. That's full reverse. That ain't, it's not doing much, is it? Might have got on there just a little too much. That's all right. We're all going to start off. I want to fly the other version of it. So let's go ahead and do that. 
problem is they have this, but there's like no water runways in uh, the Maldives. It's okay, not a big deal. Go to the main menu, and we're gonna get a different uh, different variants of the airplane. I'll show you some more of what you can get. Okay, world map. So we're here in the Maldives, and we are gonna take off. Man, look at all these up here. Look at all these. We have all these down here. I haven't done these. Let's fly out of this one. VRMG GAN, right? VRMG. There's a ramp right here. Ramp 10. And yep. Here's all the different variants. Look at all these. Not too shabby. You have the little floats with a short nose. You have a cargo version. You yeah, have the wheels packs version there with the 100. You have a 300, 300 floats. That's where you're flying there. 300 floats, short nose. Then you have these. You have the ski version. You got the Tundra cargo version. Uh, Tundra packs. And the 300 with the wheels cargo. Three blades. Here's the four blade versions down here. Pretty darn cool as well. It's skydiver version. Um, wheel packs there. What's uh, all involved in the deliveries there? Just that one? Okay. A Transavia? I don't know who that is. The cargo version looks really cool. I like the Tundra tires. We could probably land on the beach. It's pretty good there. So let's go ahead and go with this guy right here. Is this one livery? Yep. That works for me. Um, awesome. So I'm going to do that. See how it goes. Thank you very much, Radical. I appreciate that, man. 30 months is a very long time. And you choose to spend it here with us. I appreciate that. All right, Vito. Nice. Oh, we have some clouds down here. Nice. Ready to fly here. Um, so first things first, you load in here. And I have to redo all my my uh, pat my views again for this plane. This is a different variant, and it's a cargo variant. So say, look, there's no uh, there's cargo back there. There's no no seats. So there's that. Let me see here. I mean, it's still pretty cool looking. Go down a little bit. We'll just do this one view first. That at least, you know, at least I have one. <laughs> okay, take that out. That's good. Control columns, good there. On up here, we've got this guy. Ooh, on, on. You're good there. Gens are off. Do the upstairs. Lead airs are off right now. Everything's good there. All right, let's go ahead and start the first right engine here. Let's have a look at it. The outside view here. Cargo version with the wheels. Look at this thing. And the thing's all beat up and everything. Look at that. Looks awesome. See how, how it sits back with that cargo in there too. Mr. T, what's going on? How you doing tonight? Hope you're having a good one. Mm -hmm. Cool looking plane. All right, let's do it. Boost pumps are on. We know what to do. Start the right engine first. Well, we kind of need this view, don't we, in the middle? There's 12 right there. Oop, not you. Come back this way. There we go. Better there. Start the left engine now. 
And this one here, we're going to make this control alt two. That works for me. And then fuel goes on to that guy. Move you up into that position too. Seems like there's always one feathered more than the other. See? Oh, move these back. Strange. Oh, up. Weird. Um, okay. Engines are on. Looking good there. Okay. Well, we'll see how this goes, won't we? Flaps 10. Boosts are all good, and we have those two on out as usual, so that's all good. Oh, man, somebody's in a jet out there. Look at that. Big jet. Okay. Well, awesome. Let's release our parking brake. We can find that. Fry this right there. Go a little forward here. Let's see how she flies on the ground version. wind doing here? That's the question. There's a windsock out there. Out of that direction there, so. Landing from the left and taking off from the left. Okay. Got it. Just check the reversers. Works perfectly fine. Okay, cool. One thing that I disagree with is, okay, so we paid money for this airplane. It is a payware airplane, right? The problem I have is that these are unacceptable sounds. I mean, they should have just delayed the actual airplane and released it with everything working. Because these cutting out of the engines in and out, man, that's, that's just kind of unacceptable. And the reason why I say that is because, well, no one, uh, you know, no one, this isn't a freeware project. It's a lot of money involved on these things. So I don't agree with it. We don't need all this runway. So we're going to take off on just half of it. Wait till the coast is clear here. Go to you. I don't mean to be harsh about it, but it is true. Complain on after him, we're good. We will be good. here on the air they go all right clear for takeoff let's do this thing that wind is out of our left there keep that in mind oh that was weird so left that guy We're good let's do this thing bring up the power Okay, that was a little too much when crosswind could correction there. It's like the right side more so than the left. That wind is coming from the right. Okay. Just like that, we're in the air. So the wind was from the right, not the left. Hard, it was hard to see that. 
from that position, you know. Put the flaps up. Way down south, so we can go north. One hundred percent. Using the Thrustmaster Boeing, uh, the TCA Boeing yoke. What we're using. This one in our other uh, program we use. What is it called? On to go. Some storms popping up and down here. It seems. Put our altitude alert. We're hold about 2,000 feet here. Altitude's good on that. Let's put the power back a little bit here. We are blowing our damn engines up. That's a sim. So finicky. Okay, it blew through that 2000, no problem. I don't know what that's about. Sometimes I don't know what this uh, autopilot's doing. back down now. We'll see if it comes back to 2,000 feet. We shall, we shall. Pretty cool. Let's see if it levels off here at 2,000 feet. It should, technically. Yeah, airplane's a lot different with, without floats, man. Its performance is way better, too. I mean, obviously, it makes sense why that would be the case. Turn to the right here. Not much. Yep, it's holding about 2,000 feet now, so that was good. There's a jet whizzing by. Here we are. We got some people around us. Looking good. Lot less weight, lot less drag. Yeah, the snub minnows, I'm sure it behaves a lot better. Uh, generics back there. Okay. We're looking. Oh, look at this. We got some storms just popping up right off off the front here. It's pretty realistic. These little rain showers that pop up down here. They're flying real world time in the Maldives. Maldives are uh, just to the, they are south um, west of India. I 
do say, I do say. Look at that updraft. Do you see it going up in front of us? You see the same clouds I am? Nice, JD. Very cool. Here, I'm going to do this real fast, guys. Go into my options and uh, make sure in traffic I can have your nameplates on so you can see who is who. Apply and save. There we go. Resume. There we go. There's Vito. No, you can't collide in the air. Oh, did you get the, uh, you got the Twin Otter as well, eh? What do you think of it so far? Love it. Dude, it is something special. Other than the engine sounds, like I said, you know, Payware product should have probably just waited to release it with some good sounds. Flying to this cloud here. Whoosh. View. Really cool looking. Behind the pack of the bear, maybe I'll catch up. What's up, Giga? Gigawatts. Oh, no worries, man. There might be an airport coming up here. Let's see. Yep, we have one to our right. Good old VRMR we're going to go to. So let's go ahead and turn to the right here. Let's we'll start our descent, too. Actually, we don't even need the autopilot on anymore. Turn it off, my airplane. It's off this way. Crack our descent here. Can I okay? I'll Multiplayer has a lot of issues with the generic airplanes like that. I don't know why. They always show like their engines are off and stuff. It's just uh, it's a multiplayer problem. A lot of people like to fly whatever they want to fly, you know? And if you don't have the same airplane exactly installed, the same version of it and everything, it doesn't uh, show up for you. Like they're flying an F-35. I don't own the F-35 Jayhawk, so it shows up as that. If they're flying like the default F-18 with a default livery, we would see that. Further down we go. feet's pretty good for now and just trimming this airplane out man i mean like this is hand flying it just flies so brilliant 
You don't feel like you have to chase it. You know, the vertical speed showing it dropping, it you, you can just adjust it. And it's good to go. Good on Chandler. Let's see what airplane that was they were in. There's Vito. Nice, dude. Looking good. I think they use the uh, Twin Otter in New Zealand quite a bit, don't they? Flyover. We'll see what's going on with the uh, the wind here. Here's the TBM. JD Snow. Welcome on. We got Fishy one two four, and we got Jayhawks up there in the F thirty five. Gonna be landing. Are the winds uh, north or south? Try to figure it out here. Can't really see us moving around too much. I'm really excited to, to land this on land because these airplanes are all about, you know. I want to see how good it is because, I mean, landing on the water, it was real smooth. It was real smooth. Seldom, what's going on? How you doing? in on this runway. Uh, the airport we are landing at is VRMR. the runway right there it's not sure what the winds are doing it looked like they were when we took off when we turned north going west so i think they're out of the north we might do a left downwind Out of zero three zero. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, then we can land on this one right here. Let's do it. Terrain. No terrain. Shush. Shush your mouth. Go three zero at five. You got it. Thank you. Five 
And I really do have to fight to get it into the white arc. I'm gonna have to look at the uh, handbook. I'd imagine you could put your first notch of flaps in before the arc. It just seems so strange that you're putting everything in at the last second for this airplane. We'll see. What's up, Moose Man? Jake I have no idea who that is. Okay, too white. Bring that nose down a little bit more. Good on power setting, though. Pretty happy with that. It's got a longer kind of threshold to it, so we can definitely touch down on the markers where we want to. The touchdown zone. Landing. It's pretty damn good right here. Right where we want to be. 15, Guys, right, get the hell out of the runway if you're not using it. Well, I don't like to do online stuff all the time. It screws you up. Come on, guys. go around I don't enjoy the hovering 767 in front of us when we're trying to land on a runway well, that's me yeah you probably don't have the uh, the Maldives scenery off of flight sim.to that's probably why you don't see the runway or the airport in general. No, no, no. Let's keep our stuff in here for now. What if we actually land flaps 40 in this airplane? We'll go with 30 on this. Well, it seems aggressive, but maybe it's right. Not really sure. guy in. Think you're getting your takeoff and landing currency. Yep. <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. There's a good power setting right there. I like that. Do we hit these touchdown markers? jump around on us a little bit there, didn't it? it surely did. Yeah, those sounds are atrocious, Aerosoft. <laughs> Should have just waited to release them. That's, that's just so bad. The airplane's amazing, but those are not. Those are not amazing. Uh, Jayhawks, you can use the F-35 all you want, man. It's just, uh, I don't, I don't own it yet, but it's a big 767 and it just, it sits there and floats in front of your face just beyond the touchdown markers. And I was like, I cannot land the airplane doing this. All right. 
I think some of y'all need to get into the uh, F-18s, the uh, default F-18s, default paints. I'd love to see some of the, uh, the action. Oh, maybe a lot of you guys don't have the scenery. Oh, these people do over here. All right. It's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. There's Vito. All right, Vito, let's see your best landing, man. We're going to watch. I don't know why I don't see the F-18s. Well, unless there's somebody actually in an F-18 out there. Nope. Doesn't show up for me. Weird. I have it installed. I was just flying with them, you know, the other day. No, you are showing up as no, it's I don't know what these damn default airplanes are. You know what? It's probably something to do with my AI traffic stuff and traffic variety. Yeah, we can check that in a minute. Let's look and see. Variety's on low. Does that need to be on high? Maybe. How that even got changed. This is the A320. Nice. This will shows you in the same ones. Have it on Ultra. Oh, here's Vito. His landing and the Twin Otter. Woo. Nice. Bloop. Yeah, I don't have the Tomcat, so that's not gonna show up. I'm an F-35. I'll check traffic variety to ultra, but man, I don't understand why the default F-18 isn't showing up. It's very strange to me. Let's have to change the aircraft type, traffic type. Really don't know. Very nicely done. Bringing it on in. is definitely in that thing. <laughs> yeah, that's not an F-18. That's in that. I don't know what's causing that. Could be something that, that I had to do with the uh, FSAI or the AIG stuff. Quite possibly. That's not showing up correctly. Hard to say. Okay. Let's see what this thing's all about. Go crazy on this one. Let's see what this thing can do. Using the brakes and everything here on the takeoff. Oh, they're in an F-18 for me. See, they're using a, a default, an actual default. Uh, what you call it? Paint. There we go. Full power. See how fast she can get off the ground here in a short takeoff. These things are stole. The 
just like that. Look at that. That didn't take much at all. Bring up the flaps. You're out of there. Pretty impressive. Yeah, Kevin, I saw you in the F-18, so yeah, that worked. I don't have the DC-6 now. To the north. The king of the north. Goodbye, little island. That was cool. Pretty neat. To the whole ring coming up here, so any of these. Might just stop on a random island here once we get closer. That would be pretty cool. Oh yeah, that's the F-18. You can see it. That's all. Nope. That's not. That's a generic. So maybe people. Maybe it's only loading in after I change that setting and they reload. Maybe that's what's doing it. I don't know. So y'all might have to reload the airplanes for them to show up. That might be what it is, honestly. There's a good chance that's what it is. We're up to 3,000 feet here. with our power settings for now. We're not worried about it. Are we on fuel? That's the question. Fuel flow. Quantity's good. Can't complain. Yeah, there's an F-18 right there. Nice. Look at that. Epsi doll. Looking good. Cool. Oh, hello. <laughs> it's seven eight X. Wonder why that's one that one's not showing up. There's another F eighteen. That one's showing up there. Upscale. Looking good. Their formation skills. And the TBM showing up finally, so that looks good. Not using the default. A string peach back there in the 208. There's Vito back here. And we have Fishy in a CC19. And there's another gigawatts right there. Don't even tell me what you're in. I have no clue. There you go. Absolutely, you should get formed up on your other F-18 on my left. Up with him. The A380 NX? Yeah, I think that's going to be awesome, man. I'm always down for something like that. 
Look at that. He's got his, uh, his flaps in and everything, trying to go slow to stay with this airplane. I mean, we're going as fast as she's she's going. Fast as she'll go. Yeah, gigawatts. I don't know. I don't know why some people are showing up, some aren't. But I think you have to reload the plane. I think that might be why. Because I changed that setting to uh, traffic variety to ultra. It was set to low. So it wasn't working right, I guess. Here comes another one. Got diamond there. Diamond eye. Got the speed brakes out. Slowing that thing down. Look at that. Everything out in the wind. Well, that's showing up as an A20N. Okay. What the hell does that even mean? Well, here comes another one. Apollo. Maybe the maybe it's updating your models, your flight models now. None over there. Oh yeah, look at this. That was another one. Aussies up there. Looks awesome. And here too. Oh, Paulo's coming in with his. No, the A20N, that is the A320neo. Hey, look at that. Got beaches up there we're going to be landing on. Looking at that on the cabbage. Diamond die. Cool stuff, man. Cool stuff. Yeah, they're unarmed. That's so cool. Closer. F-18 way out there. We're gonna go with this uh these beaches over here. We'll see what we got. But one of these tiny little islands. I'll try to land on one of those. 
I hear it. I can hear the jet a little bit now. Hard to, hard to go away from my deep, my per turbo prop. Listening for any jet sounds. Oh yeah, you can hear them. Pretty cool. There's one coming in here. Gonna be making some sound. Yeah, there's too many around. I think that's why it's just cutting in and out on some of them. Oh, you can hear them now. Oh, those sound good. That's so cool, man. Somebody's got to buzz us at like full speed. App C at all. Nope. Oh, Diamond Eye. There he goes. Had a hiccup. You call that fast? Come on. Let's see somebody doing like 800 knots by us. Let's see what you can do. Somebody's going back there to get some speed up. JD, Apollo. There goes Absid all there. Mach one a riot. <laughs> Somebody's doing it. Fastest small airplane I've ever seen in my life. There you go. Nice. Upscale. That was a good one. I'm too shabby. That's some speed right there. You can tell another one there. So cool, man. Uh, nope. The fighter jet comes with the, uh, sim. Waiting for somebody to just shoot right past us here. There they go. There you go. That was a good one. Okay. That was awesome. Music back on. There's an airport here. Uh, I kind of want to land on one of the. I want to land on this. Another airport wouldn't be bad, I guess. It's up here further. Let's be our QM. 
Then we have a couple more up this way. Then we'll land over here on the on these this chain of islands over here on these sandbars. Let's do it. Autopilot off. My airplane. Oh, see, somebody's flying the F-18 Super Warrior. That's probably why it's not showing up then. Everybody's got that in. The, uh... The freeware project for that, which is amazing. Yes. But I hadn't uh, installed it yet. somebody went inside they can't really hear it very much I think some of these uh, F-18s are gonna have some fun trying to land on the sandbar up here <laughs> y'all ever bush a F-18 we're about to find out aren't we oh look at that, that one's close site well our landing area there Hey, Whiskey, what's going on? How you doing? Glad you enjoy the streams. What a fun uh, flying event here tonight down here in the Maldives. Enjoyed it greatly. The Maldives uh, scenery is freeware on flysim.to. Ooh, hello, we got 
Gotta be careful with that. that that'll ruin your day right there. Woohoo! All right. This somebody made it in the F-18. Nice. Made it. Look at all these F eighteens. <laughs> nice. guys come in here I don't know why that Cessna 208 is not showing up it's so, so strange Dude, that thing stops in a heartbeat doesn't it <laughs> I love it Too many planes around. We can't even hear that anymore. That sucks. No sound of that. I hear another one. What cub? Yeah, Moose Man. I we saw you there. Oh, there they go. Yeah, it's gone by the time I get over there. I'm going to move down here so I can hear it. Yeah, I definitely need some sound work on it for sure, Vito. But yeah, it's a fantastic airplane, man. I'm very, very happy with it. Now we can hear them. Oh, they're dead. So dead. The KRR dead. I hear somebody. I right, dead. Somebody slewing. Here he comes, JD. He's landing. It's slow. Here's a PC six. Nice. Apps it all. That sounded awesome. Oh, look at that, man. Nice. Nice landing, Apsidale. It was awesome. <laughs> nice. Hey, 
Look at that! In the 208. Committed to land. I don't know if they're going to. Yeah, it cuts out. There's like too many planes. Pretty darn cool, man. Pretty damn amazing. Let me go over this way. I might hear more jets. There you go. Nice. Now we can hear it real well. That one right there. It's so good, man. There's another one. Nice. That was amazing. You still hear Diamond Eye out there. Yeah, I haven't heard anybody break the sound barrier yet. I haven't heard any sonic booms. <laughs> Got lost. It really likes the sound of yours for some reason. It's like picking it up a lot. Oh, booms aren't a thing in the online? Gotcha. Yeah, the booms are on in single player. Break the sound barrier in single player. Still, pretty darn cool. That was amazing, KRR. Absolutely amazing. All right, well, guys, that's going to do it for me tonight. I'm going to send you over to Wes in the mess. Thank you so much for coming out and hanging out. I like the airplane. Needs some love for sure in the sound department, but man, what an incredible plane to fly. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us and flying with us. And we'll see you all tomorrow. Have a good night.